I've got a job coming up uh, in the next couple of years that's going to need some pretty big uh, willow osier as long as possible. You know, three, four metre wouldn't be a problem. So I'm doing a little job today that's going to give me osier willow, you know, as fast as we can possibly do it fairly soon. It's a job I've been meaning to do for a little while, but I've realised, you know, I really need to crack on with it. So today's the day. Now this is Bowles Hybrid Willow. Now we've grown this in a few places. This is in the outer skin of the eastern shelter belt and it just hasn't done anything. I mean, the survivors, and there weren't that many, um, haven't done particularly well. Whereas on the swale over there, I mean, it'll put you know, double, three times this on in a single year. You know, it, it does really, really well on swale systems. It's not doing so well out here with the grass competition and so on. It's just too much for it. Whereas on the swale, it doesn't seem to care. It'll grow regardless of what you do to it. So this is where I'm going to harvest it from, is the outer skin. Now eventually we'll come back and we'll overplant all of this and replace all the ones that have died with much bigger, more aggressive cuttings. But in the meantime, it's not doing enough. It's not really, you know, a row as such. There's the odd survivor and then there's a patch at the top that's done really well for some reason. It's had a bit more shelter, I think. So yeah, first things first, I need to cut it all down. And I brought my loppers. I'm not going to bother filming that. I'll show you what I'm doing with it after I've done that job. So, got a load of willow. Right, some of these are going to be cutting down because they're going right here. Now this is, the house um, still runs on an old septic tank system. The septic tank overflows through a pipe that runs underneath the track that's underneath the camera and comes out here and runs down. I was doing a job out here last week and there was a bit of an odour, there was a bit of a smell coming off it because uh, obviously it's fairly steady throughput of nutrient year round and there's not a lot doing a lot of growing but still if there's smell there's pollution if there's pollution that's the wasted resource so we're going to grow willow on it so you can see the ditch that runs down i'm not going to plant right in the bottom of the ditch because you know that could easily start to cause you know a, a backing up situation with uh, you know shifting water away from the house so i'm going to come slightly up the berm and then stick them in at an angle so that if I ever need to come through and, and dig matter out of the ditch, which I have to sometimes, it just washes in and stuff, you know. There's plants dying back and so on, you know, it just builds up. I can just dump that up on top of these cuttings that are running along, you know, that edge, along the edge of the uh, septic ditch. And, uh, yeah, give them a really nice feed. But mostly, once their roots hit that nutrient-rich water, they're going to explode into growth. Yeah, you know I mean... Uh, the ones in the shelter belt haven't done at all well. The ones on the swale have done really well in this variety. Uh, I'm expecting them to do well here because I said it's bowls hybrid. It's uh, it's a, a high uh, yielding biomass crop because um, you know it's perfect for this situation. So some of these are going to be cut down, but I'm not going to get too low. I want you know nice long cuttings. So I, as I stick them in, they'll be up actually higher than the, the bank so you know, the grass can't overtake them in the spring they get off to a really good start and should give me lots of really really long uh, long single stem whips which is what I need for another project so I'll stick them in the ground and then I'll do a bit more filming then and that's it done so you can see here's the first cutting I left it quite a big one it's really anchored pretty it's substantially down into the bank and you can see it's got a slight lean out now if i need to come through and dig any muck out of the ditch i can just come through take it straight off of the base and it's not going to be in my way at all um but it's got the capacity to put on i mean these will put on three meters in a year uh, with this particular variety when it's grown on a swale so it should do really well down here it's got consistently nice moist feet not too wet um it's a bit of a myth about willow that people reckon that it needs wet feet all the time. It doesn't. It uh, it tolerates. Uh, it really quite enjoys uh, well-drained soil, but it does tolerate the wet, which makes it you know a useful feature for any plant if it can tolerate waterlogging. And of course, it means that in you know bottlelands and stuff where all the biomass tends to accumulate really rich environments, it can take advantage of those. And in this case, it's uh, an artificially created one that is fed by uh, you know nutrient overspill from the house. So. And it continues all the way down. Um, so this berm already has loads of flowers and so on planted all over it. We started planting beech across the back and there's also some more hawthorn that's gone in that will eventually in time fill in to what this would originally have been, um, would have been a mixed species hedge. So we're basically emulating what better maintained hedges in the local area are like. Um, and these are just the remnant species that are left from that and they're going to be shaped as well and made into a hedge but this side of the of the ditch well you know let's make use of it so you can see 
I don't know, easily 50, 60 cuttings. And that will give us really nice long osier willow that we can harvest every single year, you know, generating biomass really passively. And at the end here, I've got another big one that uh, I split into two, so there's the top half of it. Uh, just to mark the end of the line is, you know, in a very defined way. This will definitely take this one. And it should be a really nice strong tree so I can see, you know, that's the end of the line. Sometimes if you've got the spindly ones on the end that do so-so, um, you know, it's hard to determine where that row finishes. So I tend to do that. And there it is. So, yep. So we're turning the waste of the croft. That's really windy. Hang on, I'll turn my back. There we go, that should be a bit better. So we're turning um, a waste stream from the croft into a useful uh, biomass crop that we can use in all sorts of areas. Um, but yeah, especially with the projects we've got coming up over the next few years, we're gonna need a lot of willow. So yeah, just a quick short video on <laughs> a fairly quick job.